in today's digital age, everyone and their mother is creating content. And while it's great that we all have a platform to share our ideas and creations with the world, it can also be overwhelming to stand out in a sea of social media posts, blog articles, podcasts, and videos. That's why having a solid content strategy is more important than ever for digital creators who want to make an impact and achieve their goals. If you're new here, I am Denise, Denise Boyd, and I believe that everyone is a business and that every business should be online via digital creation. But now let's get right back into the topic at hand. So here are some tips to pretty much help you create a content strategy that will help you rise above the noise and stand out from the crowd. So I have five and the very first one is define your objectives. So in the words of the famous philosopher Yogi Berra, if you don't know where you're going, you might end up someplace else. And this is especially true when it comes to creating content. Before you start churning out blog posts, Instagram reels, or TikTok videos, take a moment to define your objectives. So like, what are you hoping to achieve with your content? Are you looking to build your personal brand, promote your business, or showcase your expertise? The more specific you can be about your objectives, the easier it will be to create content that resonates with your target audience, which is super important. Now, the next thing you wanna do is know your audience. So to create content that connects with your audience or your people, your tribe, you need to understand who they are, what they care about, and how they consume content. And this simply means doing your research, getting to know your target audience on a deeper level. Like what are their pain points? What are their interests? What types of content do they enjoy consuming? Because by understanding your audience, you can create content that speaks directly to their needs and their interests. Now, the third thing you wanna do is choose your content types and themes. Once you know your objectives and your audience, now it's time to choose the types of content that you're gonna create and the themes that you will cover. Now, this will depend on your niche or niche and your interests of your audience, but it could include blog posts, videos, social media posts, podcasts or webinars, and possibly more. But when choosing your content types and themes, I want you to think about what will resonate most with your audience and align your objectives. And don't be afraid to experiment with different types of formats and styles to see what works best. And the next thing you wanna do is plan your content calendar. Now the key to consistent content creation is actually planning ahead. Now, once you have your content types and themes chosen, now it's time to actually plan out your content calendar. Now, this will involve scheduling your content in advance, which will also help you stay organized and on track. Now, there are several tools that you can use to plan your content calendar, such as Google Calendar, Trello, or a spreadsheet, and of course, there's more. But be sure to include the type of content, the theme, the title, and due date for each piece of content, as well as any other relevant notes. Now, the next thing you wanna do is promote or repurpose your content. So finally, it's important to promote and repurpose your content to get the most out of your efforts. Now, this can include sharing your content on social media, repurposing it into other formats. For example, turning it into a blog post or turning a blog post into a video or using it to create lead magnets or email newsletters. Now, by promoting and repurposing your content, you can actually reach a wider audience and get more bang for your content creation book. Now, just to give you a quick recap, creating a content strategy is essential for creators who want to make an impact and achieve their goals. Now, by defining your objectives, understanding your audience, choosing your content types and themes, planning your content calendar, and last but not least, 
promoting and repurposing your content, you, my friend, can rise above the content noise and stand out in a crowded digital landscape. So go forth and create. Now, if this was actually helpful for you and you really want to hone in on your content strategy, be sure to go to the description and click on the link to head over to the blog post where I have actually created a content strategy checklist to help you create content strategies that actually grow with you, grow with your people and your digital business. And don't forget to let me know how these tips help you on your digital creation journey. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.